Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings. Asalaamu Alaikum. What it do? What it do, man? This is your boy, the one and only. As a car, man, bringing you flame. You already know how to make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. You be left in that loop. You know what the business is. Hit that cash app up to that PayPal too. Close off, don't get fed. You hear me? But shout out to the black YouTube out there. Ticket TV, Carcino, Kwame Brown, the League Attorney, J.R. Wisdom, Mr. Palmer, Two Ball for Sports, Two Ball for TV, Kicking with Mr. Moss, ALC Predator, Catcher, JD uh, Black, Corey Holcomb, man, Tariq Nasheed, Dr. Umar Johnson, man, yo, these brothers be bringing it, homie. They be bringing it on these two streets, and who be bringing it today? Oh, my goodness. It would be the man, the legend. Himself, former Boston Celtic point guard, long on, two time NBA champion with the Celtics and with the Lakers. Combined, do you hear me? And that be the one and only, the one and only Rajon Rondo. Ooh, Rajon Rondo. I caught an article in my little feed, man, and it talks about, uh, well, this clip, it talks about the mind of a point guard and Rajon Rondo's stance and when he's playing the game. And he gets more into it. He talk about more X's and O's and more of a game plan from its source and its roots before it manifests out there on the court. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, he's a pretty, he's, he's a, a different individual. I tell you that, he's, uh, <laughs> he's not the, the average individual. I'll just put it like that. And I'm trying to say, was he on JJ Reddick's podcast? I believe so. Looked like it was. If I'm not, it literally looked like JJ Reddit. I might be mistaken. I might be mistaken. Somebody correct me if I am. But uh, we're going to cook on this when we get back. I'll let you boil. Man, I don't want to go to a plantation today. You hear me? Hey, 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 we are back at it, back at it, finna get into this little audio, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about, and uh, my man right here, he also equates this to LeBron James, uh, especially in the bubble, so let's go ahead and cook. Um, I think it was, I think it was game one, it was like a ball game, it was shoot around in the ballroom, we stayed in the hotel with the Four Seasons. And I asked Jimmy and D-Wade to stay back. And I was working on fourth quarter execution plays that we could run in the fourth that Brad hadn't seen us play yet. So when we did run those plays, they weren't, they weren't able to make those counters or adjustments. And for me, I was watching a lot of, I think I watched maybe like four or five of his games to where his fourth quarter plays they were calling, sets that they ran for Isaiah Horford in that, in that particular series to get ahead of the curve. Since I'm thinking, my mindset is thinking, how can I beat the coach? How can I outcoach the coach? Because I have... The, um, I feel like I have the power and I'm involved in the game. So I have more of an influence and an impact that I can make versus a coach yelling from the sidelines trying to communicate to his players what they need to do. But me as a player on the court, I'm able to make those adjustments and uh, you know be ahead of the curve. But to be honest with you, that's, that's one of the best answers that I've ever gotten on, the, on that question. And not that we've asked it a ton because there's not many players we've had on that can answer it that well. But I hadn't really thought about that. Now looking back, you really are you really are a cocksucker because <laughs> that's <laughs> essentially what you were doing. I'm like getting these, I'm getting these memories of the, the 2009, 2010 playoffs and looking over at you, whether it was a free throw, a dead ball, whatever. And you just be like staring at Stan. And right. Stan I'm never, I'm never, like coach, I'm never coaching against, you. I'm never going against the players. I'm looking at the coach and what he's saying, everything, because everything obviously he's saying that you guys are going to do with him so what he wants to do in practice. So if I can get ahead of those, those answers to the test earlier, 
I'll ace the test. And this crazy thing, we were in a bubble. This goes back to the bubble. Me and Brown were in the bubble watching the game. I think it was it was Miami and Boston again. And uh, we were sitting in the room watching the game. And like I said, it went down to the wire. So Brown's like, if we if we get Miami, I got Spo. And if we get Boston, you got Brad. So that was kind of our mindset. It's like it wasn't like, oh, we're going to beat the Heat or we're going to beat the Celtics. It was more so if we can out coach or you know if we can out coach or outplay the coaches on that staff in particular, which two guys we felt that we knew pretty good, we were going to win. I mean, that's kind of that's how they kind of unfolded. How how many how many players outside of Braun maybe in your career do you think thought that way? Zero. <laughs> Mm. Zero was Bron. In your opinion, was Bron your sort of equal, and you you were his equal in terms of I, the one guy that comes to mind. I'm just being honest. I know I know you guys don't like each other. I'm sorry to say. Who's that? Who was that guy? Be Chris Paul. <laughs> oh no, no. I just don't. I don't know him um, as far as I have to play with him. So I wouldn't. I don't know how his mindset is. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's stupid. That's stupid. Oh, man, that was a good little chuckle for in the morning, man. But it gives you the in-depth uh, observation of a point guard, how, how he think and how he trains before they go out there on war. Uh, you know, that court is a mug, man, especially when you got some balls and you got to be strategic. You, know, you got to have the athletic, uh, athleticism and be able to execute. You know, that's why these players get paid what they pay. Uh, what they get paid, you know, they work out, keep their body in shape. And I see right now, Mirando keep his mind in shape. And that's what a lot of us go out to start doing every day. Instead of being functional illiterates, you know. I fall in that category too. So I'm no different from anybody. I'm no different from you, anybody else. You feel me? So let's do this thing and get ready for this <sighs> plantation time. Oh, God. But this own thing. This is my heaven right here. Bring y'all flame every day. This is what I be doing, sacrificing my time. Because I love y'all. And I appreciate you taking time out, people out the content. Do me a favor, thumbs up, thumb down. It is what it is. I'll holler at you later. Peace.